Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix a frozen iPhone or an iPhone that just won't turn on. Let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to try to do to unfreeze your phone is a hard reset. Now the way you do this is very simple. You basically are going to hold your iPhone, press the power and home button at the same time until the iPhone powers down and then begins to power back on. So you can see it's off now and it started to restart here. Now basically if this method worked, obviously your phone will now be unfrozen. You'll be able to use it like normal. Now in the instance that your phone is frozen off and you can't turn it on, what I've done in the past is simple. I try plugging it to a charger and leaving it there for about 15 to 20 minutes to see if it just needed a little boost of power to turn back on. A lot of the time it works. I also try pressing the home button, power button as it's plugged into the charger just to see if that triggers it. If that fails, you can try the iTunes method, which is basically just plugging your iPhone up to a computer or a Mac with iTunes installed. Sometimes when iTunes opens up it just triggers the iPhone to restart and that's worked for me in the past but again if it doesn't try plugging it in and out a few times and seeing if that triggers it also while it's plugged up to iTunes I'll be pressing the home button and power button here and there throughout as it's plugged in now with all these methods, there is still a chance your iPhone will not unfreeze or won't turn back on. The best method is always going to be the hard reset as it just refreshes the whole phone. But if you still have issues, your best bet is to call Apple because there really is no explanation for it sometimes. I've had instances where the phone just turns off on its own and it's got 30, 40, 50% battery life and it still doesn't turn back on. And then for some reason the charger triggers it or iTunes triggers it. There's really no explanation. These are just methods that I've used in the past and they've worked for me and a lot of other people. So give them a try. If you still have issues, feel free to ask in the comments, but please leave a detailed description of what's been going on prior to the phone freezing. That way I can look into it a little bit further. But again, this is the best I can do to help you guys. If you're still having trouble, contact Apple. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.